Welcome to the Dallas uh, Film Festival 2021, back from the pandemic, and we are speaking with one of our favorites, Tracy Lehman, uh, who you might remember from the Women's Texas Film Festival and stuff. So, back in Texas, it's awesome. It is great to see you, and you were just all over the place with Ghosted. Yeah. I know we talked about this film last year during the Women's Texas Film Festival. So let's start with this. What is going on with this? Now you're blowing it up all over the place. A little bit, you know. I, I, it's, a, it's a it's an uplifting film. I mean, for the most part, it's storybook, magical realism, and it. I think like the pandemic kind of made people want those kind of films. You know, I feel like it, it, you know people have really been drawn to that. We do. We do kind of need those uplifting yes. films. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a really good run. We, we won uh, some more in Seattle and Big Sur and Big Bear, and you know, and I'm so happy to be back at the Alice in Wonderland Festival. It's been ten years for me. Right. I came here uh, with Girls, 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 this anthology project. Right. And um, that was awesome. And it's nice to kind of like in the run in a big way back home in Texas with a live screen in person. Right. So, I it, it all comes full circle. Yeah. So I mean. You were supposed to have. You were supposed to be here last year for stuff, and of course, nobody could do anything in person. And you kind of this film is kind of getting its second life on the yeah. film festival circuit. Um, what's next for it? Because I mean, you're getting great reviews with it. Um, I, I've been wanting to turn it into a feature, so I've been trying to talk to people about it. I think it could be done. You know, it would be a great feature. Um, and other than that, um, I've got TV shows and movies I've been writing, ready to direct. You know, I'm really into magical realism now. So. Isn't that the great thing about the pandemic? You, you're able to get writing done. I, I was telling some of that the other day. I was like, what did you do? I wrote a novel and three scripts. So, you know, <laughs> what else are you going to do? Totally. Um, but yeah, I agree that it can definitely be turned into a uh, feature. And I think one of the great things about this film is L.A. is such a great character within the film. Yeah. As you know, yeah. you've got some iconic scenes from L.A. Um, what else do you feel like you could do with this film in a feature regarding L.A.? Um, well, I mean, obviously we didn't have a lot more happening, but um, um, I think just in, since it's mainly one location, it's, it's just a few characters. Um, we have to really dig into like the relationship with the ghosts, with ghosts you know, and and what's in Stacy's bags. You know, we might have to address that in an hour and a half. You know, like, everybody has emotional baggage. What's in your bags? You know? so, well, speaking of the pandemic and filmmaking and writing, um, as a filmmaker, how have you coped with all this? I mean, getting back into the swing of things, you know, can you tell us anything that you're working on? Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I wrote a, a comedic thriller pilot called Kids Out County that I'm really excited about. It's the original series that I came up with. And um, I'm working with some other amazing women on a show called Real Mother. Oh, okay. It's, it's uh, all cast kind of looks like the first word, real, you know, real mother or something. Right. Um, um, and it's about, you know, women that are moms that are trying to make it. And there's, there's some, it's cool. It's different than the other shows. It's really rock and roll. You know, kind of, um, See, the reason we like to do these interviews is gives you a chance to name drop yeah. all these things as a way to market yourself. Like, pay attention to these names. Yeah. Pick up this script. Yeah. I mean, I've been writing so much, it's crazy. I have two more. This is the last thing I'll say. The two that just got awards for my pilot called Half Assed, and then a feature I wrote called Saturday Night Lesbian, which is like a lesbian version of 40 Year Old Virgin. So uh, I think it's really funny. You know, in the pandemic, we need some laughs. We need, like, hope and laughs. That's Absolutely. All right, so we've got two questions, and I'm going to lead right into our uh, unique nerdy question just for you, since we've asked the general one before. But in regards to uh, filmmaking, uh, what has been the biggest challenge for you, uh, you know, this past year, in trying to do filmmaking with a pandemic? Um, you know, I think things got a little backed up uh, during the pandemic, where buyers were, like, buying everything because they had nothing else to do because nothing was shooting, you know? Right. And so getting people read was a little tricky after that. I'm like, wait a second, you know, just read it. I've written four things. I just need you. If you just read it, you'll love it, you know? 
So, so that's finally settling and people are reading again, and that's great. Um, I, I guess the other thing is, I mean, I mean, to be honest, it was a bit good to have the time to write. I mean, I, I, as much as people hated isolation, and I get it, writers need isolation. Sure. So I was, I was like, well, what can I do? I can write. I'll just keep writing. I'll write more. And, and so other, I'm really ready to get back out there. I'm yeah. so excited to get a with people and hear their reactions. And that was hard. That was hard not hearing people's reactions to my own stuff. Right. Seeing it virtually. Uh, so that's, really? that's really cool. <laughs> All right, so here's our unique nerdy question. And we're going to apply it to filmmaking. What superpower would you have as a filmmaker, and how would you apply that to your craft to make things easier? Um, what's, oh, okay, All right. Uh, wow, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm yeah. going to make you think. Yeah. You're prepared for the rest of them. I'm yeah, I was make prepared you. for the superhero, but not this one. Okay, um, <laughs> Flashbacks to the 2018. <laughs> okay, I think a superpower I would want that I could apply to my craft as a filmmaker. Um, you know, I didn't say it's a, it's a sort of spin off of the other one, but you know, um, I really want. We, we get all you know, these hits, these hits keep on coming when you're an indie filmmaker. Right. You know, so it's one thing and the other and the other and the other. And, and to not take any, I, this is not, I see, I'm not, and my, mine are so boring, Mark. Like, I would not take anything. Oh, God. I want to not be affected by anything. You know, like, I mean, what is that? What's that surprise? I want to, like, not take things personally, we just keep going. And, and so, what would that be? Yeah. What would that be? I think your invention. optimism and resistance. Oh, that, wow. that, be a that could absolutely be a superpower. <laughs> I mean, I. I think there's so many different things that you can use that you know affects how people think or you know sways and changes their mind. Yeah. And that's kind of a great way. You know, yeah. I, I we, we ask our general question. We always get people talking about love on a set. We just need people like you know. Can I make everybody just be happy after a hard day yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah. And I think having that optimism coming out of this situation. Yeah. So. It's kind of comical to imagine, but I think it would help. Right. <laughs> The other good one would be like Storm from the X-Men, where pandemic, I'll take care of that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm, go, I'm, a, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Well, great. It was great to talk with you again. I mean, you're always so busy. Uh, I'm very happy about Ghosted. Thank you so much. And yes, you've dropped the hint there that we need a feature. Yes. And, and we're going to keep checking up on that. <laughs> I'll see you again. Absolutely. You know I'll be talking with you. Thank you.